Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first Monday Night Raw of the new year. We just finished the King of the Ring, the Queen of the Ring, and the Dusty Votes Classic. All three tournaments are completed. The winners are Bray Wyatt for the King of the Ring, Rox and Perez for the Queen's Crown Tournament, and the New Day for the Dusty Rhodes Classic. And now we are on our way to SummerSlam and here comes the Raw General Manager, Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid. I bet you he's gonna be talking about what our plans are for SummerSlam. So let's see what the Raw General Manager has to say. Oh, he's talking about the main event between Gunther and AJ Styles is for the number one contendership. Which means whoever wins will face the champion Finn Balor at SummerSlam. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure a whole lot of superstars will be wanting a reason to go to SummerSlam. And he said we're starting off our action hot with the Women's World Champion, Becky Lynch. Let's get to it, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, John Michaels just said we started things off with the Women's World Champion, Becky Lynch. As you saw at day one, she defended her title against Zia Lee. Which is why she is the champion. Why she's walking out with the championship now. That was an incredible matchup. Zia Lee gave everything she had. But it wasn't enough to stop Becky Lynch from retaining the Women's World Championship. And she is in action tonight. But you also know she's got to watch out because SummerSlam is approaching. She's going to put that championship on the line because she's a fighting champion. But who will take up the challenge? We know none of the women on the Raw roster won the uh, Queen's Crown Tournament. And here we have Meechan Mia Yim. You know, her partner on the OC, Carl Anderson, fought Finn Balor for the World Heavyweight Championship at uh, day one. Didn't pick up the victory, but his her other friend, AJ Styles, will be in a number one contendership matchup tonight in the main event. So maybe if she can pull up the victory here tonight... She could be guaranteed a world, a women's world championship at SummerSlam. But that's only if she can find a way to beat Becky Lynch here. Incredible start, uh, how Becky Lynch has been doing so far this season. Last season she ended it as champion. This season she started it. She only lost it once but was able to get it back. And now Becky Lynch coming out hot here, but gets countered. And now to the outside goes Becky. You know, try to go for a punch goes Mia, but gets countered, hit by herself. And now look at this, tornado off the springboard. Mia Yim trying to show anything she can to try to put down the women's champion. Oh, big boot right in the corner and into the cover. This could be it, folks. One and a kick out. Quick kick out there, but Mia Yim going flying suicide dive through the ropes. Mia Yim is doing whatever she can to keep the offense on Becky Lynch. And now we're on the outside. Becky Lynch taking a offensive here, taking the advantage. Oh, big forearm smashing right into Mia Yim. 
And now look at this. Uh oh, this ain't gonna be good. Butterfly suplex on the outside. And now look at that. Countering the leg attack by Mia. And now back into the ring they go. Becky Lynch, Irish Rip. Ran to the corner, hit for the forearm. But she's not finished here. Lighting her up. Backsploder. Out the corner. And now Lynch. His leg drop, but she's not finished. His leg drop, no! Mia Young got out the way. It's for the Hurricane Rana. Mia Young is showing her resiliency here. Hitting a big German suplex on Becky. Goes for another springboard, but Becky moved out the way this time. And now Becky, oh, she's got the arm. This armor applied. Looking for the submission victory here. Oh, but Mia Yim gets out of it. Oh, it hits with a big drop kick there. And now Irish Rip by Yim hits with a drop kick. And now Yim looking to put this match away. Oh, Becky with the elbow catches her and then catches her with a clothesline. And now Becky back in this matchup going for the cover here. Looking for the cover, two, and a kick out by Yim. And now Becky Lynch looking to put this match away right here. Go for it, but no, Mia Yim has managed to escape it, to dodge it. And now another German suplex. Landing Becky Lynch hard on the back of her neck. Oh, it, look at this, soul food. Boot right to the jaw, and this could be it for Becky Lynch. Mia Young might be picking up a big victory here in the cover. One, two, kick out. Becky Lynch almost lost this match up there, but she's showing why she's the world women's world champion for a reason. Now Becky Lynch getting light up here. Irish Rip ducks under. Lee Fox over. Oh, they bumped into each other. Oh, but Yim not finished. Another form. Ducks on there. Hits the Pele kick. And now Mia looking to put this match away. Goes for it. No, Becky Lynch stops it. But Mia Yim isn't done here. No, trying to go for something else, but gets countered once more. And now Becky. Backsploder. This match is going high pace, and now Becky Lynch is looking to fly here. Will she hit it? Suicide dive connects. These two are putting on one incredible show here, and this is all free on television. Who will be walking out of this match as the runner as Becky Lynch hits? With the schoolboy into the power bomb. And oh, try to send her into the ape and tosses her back inside at the count of four. And Becky Lynch trying to take a breather here. She's been getting worked over in this matchup. She needs to get back in this match though. And now Yum catching her with the knees to the chest area. Yum needs to keep the pressure going. Or else she might lose this matchup. She's got her up. Oh, snake eyes face bouncing off the top rope. And now look at this. Send her flying. Mia Yim making sure the champion stays down. Moonsault. No. Becky Lynch rolls out the way. Try to go for a four smash. But Yim manages to dodge it. Becky Lynch is not looking good here. Oh, big back fist connecting right on the jaw as Mia Yim hits with the flapjack. Sending Becky Lynch up and down, but Becky rolling to the outside here to get some space between her. And now she's trying to come back inside. No, manages to avoid Mia Yim there. But she gets both of them are back inside the ring. Becky with a clothesline. Another clothesline. She's feeling the comeback. Hits with the single leg drop kick. And now Becky looking to put this match away. Man handle slam plants her. 
And this could be it, folks. One, two, three. And Becky Lynch is your renter. The champ has just picked up another victory here. But wait, 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 hang on, that's Asuka! What is Asuka doing here? We haven't seen her since last season. And she's looking at the championship. Oh, she's got the rematch. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the United States champion Damian Priest and Chad Gable. Looks like Priest going for a handshake. Oh, he does not disrespect him, but Chad Gable ain't going to take that disrespect from Damian Priest. Whoa, big slap there by Gable pissing off Damian Priest. And now look at this. Springboard, no, Gable moves out the way. Damian Priest is the United States champion. And he is taking on an Olympian, Chad Gable. An NXT Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Tag Team Champion, Raw Tag Team Champion. Chad Gable has done a lot in the tag team division. And he's taken up against Damian Priest. And oh, Damian Priest is taking it to him. Look at these big stomps in the corner. Gable back to his feet, but gets Irish ripped there to the outside. Now we're on the outside here, folks. But Gable trying to fight back here. But Damian Priest might seem to be too much for Gable. And a, oh, a big boot. And Gable, look at this. Taking down the priest. And they're trying to go for a wheel kick. But Damian moved out the way. And now Gable walking into the inside of the ring. But Damian Priest catches up behind him. But Gable is going to hit the back elbow there. And now look at this. Oh, knees right to the chest. This is not looking good. Good for Chad Gable here as Damian goes for the cover here. This could be it. One and a kick out. And now Gable trying to fight back. Hits with a clothesline to the outside. Back to the outside again. And oh, look at this. Damian Priest squeezing the head of Gable. Oh, like a vice grip. But Gable is not going to stop fighting. And now back into the ring is tossed in. Gable coming back inside. But Damian Priest catches him with some kicks. Now look at this. Boom! Pop up into the punch by Priest. Priest has been dominating Gable ever since the beginning. And now look at this. Lifting him up. Oh! Gable said he's got tired of that disrespect. Decided to turn it back, but Gable gets caught off guard. Damian Priest has been dominating. Anytime Gable tries to fight back, and Gable getting hit with the Irish Curse backbreaker. And now look at this surprise roll up by Gable. Could do it, no account of one. And now Gable, oh wait, hang on. Damian Priest looking to put a hurting on Gable. Fraser's edge. And this could be it, folks. One, two, no. Gable just kicked out. He's still fighting here. But Damian Priest is looking for the ending here. Oh wait, he's gone for the reckoning. Planning Gable on his face into the cover. One, two, three. And the United States champion is victorious in this matchup. Gable try to not take disrespect from Damian Priest, but Damian just dominated in this matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, we are continue. Wait, hold on a second. That's John Cena. Isn't this reminiscent of last season? John Cena was a SmackDown competitor last season, and then he came over to Raw. 
Well, at the, uh, on the first episode of Raw Before SummerSlam. And here we are, first episode of Raw before we go to SummerSlam. And John Cena has appeared once more. He's not in action. He wants to talk to the WWE Universe. I mean, is he going to say he's going to go for Damian Priest? Is he going to go for the Intercontinental Championship that's on SmackDown? What will John Cena have to say here tonight? Yeah, John Cena did not have a pretty good season. I mean, he was the United States champion, but then he lost it, and then he didn't go so far in the King of the Ring tournament. But he's hopeful for SummerSlam. Wait, whoa, hold on a second. Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker is here. Why is Braun Breaker here? We we don't even know what John Cena was about to say. He was about to say something about SummerSlam. And look who just had to show up. Braun Breaker. And John Cena questioning what's on this young man's mind that made him come down to the ring. While John Cena was in the middle of a speech. I mean, I'm pretty sure Braun Breaker... Got that mic on him. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, he wants Cena at SummerSlam. Braun Breaker versus John Cena at SummerSlam. Oh, this is going to be amazing. That's only if John Cena accepts the challenge. I really do hope John Cena sub Braun Breaker's challenge. Can you imagine how good that match would be? Braun Breaker versus John Cena, the future of WWE versus the legend of WWE at SummerSlam? Oh, Shawn Michaels needs to focus on that match indefinitely. So we just got Braun Breaker challenging John Cena. And now we're here at the finals, at the main event of Monday Night Raw. The final matchup for tonight is the number one contenders matchup between John Cena, me, AJ Styles, and Gunther. This is going to be a barn burner of a matchup. Who will be going to face Finn Balor at SummerSlam. Let's talk the history. SummerSlam last season is when Finn Balor won the Universal Champion over, Championship over on SmackDown. That was against AJ Styles, who he beat. And then he retained the title at Clash of Champions. And then we head over to this season, first Big E beat Finn Balor for the title at WrestleMania Backlash. And then at Rest Hell in a Cell, Finn Balor got that title back. And ever since, Finn Balor has defeated Big E at the rubber match at Money in the Bank. He beat Carl Anderson at day one. So Finn Balor has been going around the seasons as champion. But let's talk about this man, Gunther. Gunther was went all the way to the finals of this year's King of the Ring tournament. Dominated a whole bunch of top tier athletes. Rey Mysterio, The Miz, Tyler bait and he almost managed to beat Bray Wyatt the current king of the ring but Gunther isn't finished he wants championship 
around his waist. So he contacted Shawn Michaels and asked for a shot at the same time Styles did, which is why we have this number one contenders matchup right now. And whoever wins this matchup will face Finn Balor at SummerSlam. And look at that. Longest reigning Intercontinental Champion Gunther. Followed by, accompanied by the current NXT UK Tag Team Champions. This is going to be an incredible matchup. And oh, AJ Styles coming out the gate hot. Styles wants that championship. The championship he lost to Finn Balor. And you saw Carl Anderson fail to beat. Finn Balor at day one. So what will AJ Styles have to do to get that championship match at SummerSlam? Well, first he has to beat Gunther. And Gunther is currently on a hot streak here. Well, he's not currently on one right now. Finn AJ Styles is taking it to him here. Let's talk about that tournament where Gunther beat one of his opponents with the top. So yeah, Gunther is the real deal here. As he takes the top to Styles, but Styles is not going to back down from Gunther. And look at this, try to go for a forearm, but Gunther dodged it. And now look at this, Gunther. Oh, viciously tossing Styles across the ring. And now into the big power slam there. And into the cover. Quick cover here and a quick kick out. Gunther was so dominating at Summers at the King of the Ring tournament. I think if Gunther wins this matchup, I think we might be looking at a new champion at SummerSlam. Now look at this, Gunther, oh, trying to go for something, got countered, and now AJ Styles taking control back in this matchup, and now look at this, oh, he's got a calf crusher applied, but the rope break was called, and now Gunther, oh, big shot to the gut, and a big shot there, but he's not finished another top, and he's going for a cover off those chops, this could be it, and it's not. Styles going to keep fighting in this matchup here. But Gunther, oh, Gunther is looking for the ending. Power bomb by Gunther. One, two, kick out by Styles. Styles almost lost this matchup. And Gunther has barely broken a sweat here. It seems like no matter what AJ Styles did, it's not enough to take down Gunther, the ring general. Try to go for a drop kick, hits a kick instead. And now Styles dragging his opponent towards the ropes. What's this? Irish whip. Ducks under the clothesline. And he fires back with one of his own. And now Styles, top rope here. Looking for a high impact maneuver. Hits it with a close line. And into the cover goes Styles. This could be it. To go to SummerSlam and no Gunther is still in this matchup. And now Gunther gets caught with a four smash. And look at this. Giovanni Vinci distracting AJ Styles here. Currently up on the apron, giving Gunther time to breathe. And it currently distracting the AJ Styles as Styles gets lifted up. Oh, what's going to happen here? Boom! Face busting off the turnbuckle there with the snake eyes. And now Gunther taking 
control of this matchup, looking for a cover one and a quick kick out there by Styles. But Styles back to his feet, but gets caught. Rear naked choke applied. Rear naked choke. Will Styles tap out here? Styles might tap out here, but no. Styles breaking free. Oh, he's got a cover here. This could be it. One and a quick kick out by Gunther. But Gunther, oh wait, he's taking it. Power bomb again. And this could be over. One, two, three. And Gunther is going to SummerSlam. An incredible matchup between these two. But Gunther was dominating in this matchup. And that's it for Raw, folks. Next time we see you, it'll be for SmackDown.